Welcome back to Ohio and Company. Southeast Ohio holds some of Ohio's best treasures for family hiking and camping, as well as romantic couples retreats and other attractions. And here to explore the endless possibilities, Debbie Robinson, the executive director of the Cambridge Guernsey County Visitors and Convention Bureau. Katrina Mazahair is with the Living Word Outdoor Drama, and Darren Lautenschlager is here to talk about Seneca Lake. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Mm. Debbie, let's start with you. Guernsey County has so much to offer, and you know, I am ready to plan the big events for my family. What's coming up this summer? We have wonderful attractions to offer to visitors and residents in our area. We have some well known attractions one of um, the only kind in the state we're going to talk about in just a moment. We're also known for our wonderful outdoor opportunities, which we'll also get into. We have uh, packages and events. There is something for everyone, whether you're a family, mm -hmm. uh, you're bringing girlfriends for a weekend getaway, or a romantic couple's getaway. Tell me more about those packages, because that's an easy way to travel, an easy way to plan. I don't really have to think about it. You've done all the work for me. That's exactly <laughs> right. One call does it all. We have a great girls getaway package. It's called Think Pink Getaways with a Purpose. And we, uh, this time we're going and doing things for the women that are relaxing and getting back to nature. So give us a call and we'll tell you all about that. We also have another wonderful package called The Man, The Miracle, The Master. And it centers around Living Word Outdoor Drama. But we also have other events and overnight. And it's a really great opportunity for families and friends to get together and travel. Well, that was a good segue to Katrina. You're going to talk about the Living Word drama. How do you describe this? I've, I've read a lot about it and, and it's described different ways, but how would you describe what this is and why it's so popular? Well, we are a 36-year-old outdoor amphitheater. We present the last three years of Christ's life. Uh, we start with Sermon on the Mount with the Beatitudes and we go through the uh, crucifixion and the ascension. Wow, and so you draw people from all over the place to come all see All over this. the country, we do. Mm -hmm. And um, what's new this year? And what makes this really unique, do you think? Well, one thing that makes us very unique is we are the only outdoor drama that invites our audience to participate. Um, we can, you can play an extra, you can be a shopkeeper, some of the men even get to uh, play a disciple, okay. or carry the cross for Jesus. So. It's very exciting. They really love that. We have a lot of people that come back year after year just to be in the show. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, and it begins June 18th? June 18th, and we run through September 25th, every Friday and Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. And we can see a tour as well? Yes, we have a set tour that's included with the price of admission before every show, and also a, a kind of a little mini concert, a, a musical guest for everyone. Oh, wow. uh, new this season. We have uh, some displays from, uh, we have some artifacts from the Holy Land and also from Egypt this year that we have on display with some, uh, with some uh, descriptions of them and for people to see. We've had uh, several improvements in our facility, our outside, the sets and the, in the um, grounds, that type of thing. And uh, we also have a model of the original set, it's the original model of the set that our founder, Frank Routon Harvey, uh, made in college when he was writing the script and putting it all together. Oh, wow. So we have that. We found that in the top of uh, one of our sets, way in the top in the attic, all dirty, and so we cleaned it all up, and we've got a new <laughs> nice case for it, and it's beautiful. It's very nice, and it's they like to see it's really neat that it's the original thing there. So. And do you think the show is appropriate for kids? Absolutely. It's appropriate for everyone. Okay. We've expanded this year, and we're adding some other productions that will include... Um, nine to ninety okay sounds good Darren Everybody. let's talk about Seneca Lake it's the third largest inland lake in Ohio I didn't really know that because I haven't been there yet so tell me what I would see if I come and what there is to do well the first thing you're gonna see is a lot of water that's for sure <laughs> exactly There's, uh, more than 3,500 acres of water uh, it is the third largest inland lake in the state um, well known for fishing camping boating sailing you name it uh, you can do almost anything from an outdoor recreation standpoint at Seneca Lake um, and it's so close to I-70 and I-77 that it's just a short drive for everybody throughout the state of Ohio. And when do the campgrounds open? Are they Campgrounds open? are actually open all year long, okay. but uh, we're well known for that period between Memorial Day and Labor Day when there's full activities, mm -hmm. fireworks on Fourth of July weekend, mm -hmm. you name it. There's uh, events uh, every day and every weekend, including musical acts and all kinds of uh, activities for uh, children and adults alike. 
And how many visitors do you draw? I'm sure you. We are actually very draw popular. hundreds of thousands of visitors in a year's time. We have uh, hundreds of uh, campers uh, at any time. We have hundreds of uh, seasonal campers, and those are folks who actually stay in our campgrounds for about a seven month period from uh, April into uh, the end of October. And we have many of them that actually uh, spend their entire summer there. Uh, they may go home to their real home uh, once a week to mow the grass, pick up their uh, <laughs> mail, and then they're back to the campground. It's vacation time. Man, I need to find out how to do that. That's wonderful. And how expensive is it? Um, Camping is very inexpensive at Seneca Lake Park. You can camp for as little as uh, under $25 a night. And if you have a, an RV with uh, needs of uh, electric and uh, water service, you can camp for uh, $31.50 a night. So it's a very inexpensive uh, way to get out. Well, now I have a list of things to do. Debbie, thanks for sharing everybody with us today and helping us understand why we need to come to Guernsey County. Well, it's always a pleasure, <laughs> and we're happy to share what we have. We really feel blessed with all of these attractions and the people who make that happen. Debbie, Katrina, and Darren, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. For more information about all that we just talked about, go to visitguernseycounty.com, livingworddrama.org, and for more on Seneca Lake, mwcd.org. Stay with us for Ohio and Companies Ahead.